Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. For those of you who are in the Sim Update 2 beta for Flight Sim 24, there's something I noticed that I want to tell you guys about. I was just loading the new version 1.4.12, and as the scenes that run during the intro, as the Sim is loading, the helicopter scenes, the ambul air ambulance scene, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they were really jittery and jerky. And it reminded me of something. So here we are in version 1.4.12. And if we come over here into the settings, in Sim Update 2, we will now have frame generation AMD FSR 3 available for everybody, which is fantastic, except for, just like with DLSS, Asobo likes to roll this file back to an earlier version. So to update this, close out of the Sim, and we'll come here to the DLSS swapper. If you don't have it, I'll put a link in the description where you can get it. In Flight Sim 2020, FSR 3 is not natively implemented, so I can't update it there because I don't have an AMD card. In Flight Sim 24, click on your Flight Sim 24 install. Now, first of all, they've rolled back our DLSS files again, which is, you know, something they do. Um, but I'm using the AMD FSR 3 frame gen. So you see down here, AM, uh, FSR 3.1. Click here, and you can see this older version is highlighted. It looks like it's about four or five versions old. Come up here to the latest one, 3.1.3, click swap, click close, close out of the LSS swapper, restart your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, and you will have the latest DLSS and the latest AMD FSR3 frame gen files installed, so you'll get the best performance. We're here in Atlanta. This is the busiest airport on God's green earth, and we're in the Phoenix A321. We're going to keep pushing the envelope here a little bit. Last time I flew from Dallas to Atlanta testing the previous beta version. But you can see over here on the right hand side, I've got dev mode enabled. And over here on the right, right hand side at the bottom of the screen, you can see my GPU memory 11.63 gigs out of 10.38 available. So. So you can rather safely assume that my performance is going to be not good. I mean, now it's over 12 gigs for, uh, for the internal view. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look with auto FPS enabled and we'll see how we do with that. Here we are back in Atlanta and I can see there's a lot more ground traffic now, which is great. This is what we want. But you can also see over on the right hand side here, with auto FPS running, we're now down. I, I was actually below the limit, although just barely, but we're still a gig and a half, like literally 1.5 gigs less VRAM use than we had without auto FPS running. So that's a huge improvement right there. And there's one last thing I wanna check and see whether it has an impact on VRAM. So we'll come back here all right, welcome back to Atlanta. We're here again in the Phoenix. I have auto FPS running for whatever reason, OBS won't allow me to bring it up under the screen right now, but that's neither here nor there. Now, if you look down at the bottom corner, I have a GPU load of 9.3 gigs of VRAM. So auto FPS brought me from what? 12.5 to 10.5, 10.3 about there where, where my VRAM limit was. The latest change that I just made brought me down another full gig, and that's something I had never thought about, and somebody sent me a message to tell me about that. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit uh, and make sure that that's what made the change, but we're here in live traffic. I'll show you my settings real quick. Uh, DLSS quality, AMD FSR 3. Now, mind you, I have auto FPS running, so TLOD and OLOD are going to be, you know, the TLOD actually is going to be, you know, modified. But I mean, I've got a, everything else how I normally have it, mixture of ultra and high settings. And you can see nothing is really turned down. I mean, oh, air traffic ultra, okay. Uh, road traffic, sea traffic. Um, so, coming back here into the sim i mean i've got plenty of headroom and this is at atlanta with live traffic running ladies and gentlemen so this is very very impressive stuff 
Uh, I'm going to keep doing some testing. I'll let you know how things go. Maybe post a little bit more about what I'm doing. In the meantime, I hope you guys are doing well, and we'll talk soon.